Okay. <clears throat> I got the switch installed. Uh, so this takes, this switch controls the access to this transformer, which takes the 120 volt mains, feeds it out as 24 volts, goes through the full wave bridge rectifier, and that powers the coil that causes the relay to actually click down, which then shorts the connections from the 120 volts connected on this side to come through and go out this side, and then drive the motor. It's set up that way so that when I turn that off, uh, if I attempt to loop it, the relay shuts off, it'll click back up to the top electrodes, and the top electrodes will be connected to the input from the far side on the right. All right. Um, that's why that's there. Anyway, what I've done is I've taken the, the 24 volts or the, yeah, the 24 volts, 24 volts VAC that comes out of the bridge rectifier, or DC at that point, comes into here. It's been wired up to two single individual switches that are both momentarily closed by pushing that black button. Uh, the output from there comes up around and it's connected to the wires one two of the three phase motor that's set up as the alternator uh, and there's an ammeter on there so you can see that the ammeter pulses now when i put a current through it so i'll push it here now i gotta turn it on uh, on push a current you can hear it try to magnetize so that's good now it's open it's still connected there let's go ahead and power it on and see what we get Take out some of the 